Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, if you're new and just stumbling on today's video, I'm Delaney and I'm so happy to have you here. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I will be sharing my designer handbag collection today. This is a video that you guys requested, so I put it on my list. And if you have any future videos you'd like to see, you can always comment them in the comments below and I will add them to that list. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I also want to preface this video by saying obviously material possessions such as these are not necessary to live a fulfilled life or a happy life or anything like that. These are items that I have worked really hard for or have been gifted to me as kind of like heirlooms from my family and they hold special meaning to me. They bring me joy, but by no means do I think anyone has to own things like this to feel happy or feel pressured to own things like this. So I just want to preface this video by saying that fashion is my passion. So these are things that I enjoy. I don't judge others for whatever they enjoy spending their hard earned money on. And I appreciate when they do the same for me. That's just a little disclaimer and here we go. All right, so I'm actually gonna go by brand in this video, so I'll organize it that way. And another thing that I should note is I am actually not like a, a brand snob or a handbag geek or anything like that. So I'm going to try to look for the names of my bags and put them in the description box or on the screen for you guys. But generally speaking, I don't know all the names of them or necessarily like all the history or things like that. I have friends who are so knowledgeable in that area and it's really interesting to hear them talk about it, but I just buy the bags that I feel like speak to me and that look cute and look like something I would like to style. So it's just, Another disclaimer, disclaimer, queen. All right, so of all the designers that I have, my favorite is Louis Vuitton probably, or maybe I won't say my favorite, but the one that I have the most of is Louis Vuitton. That is the brand that my mom always loved growing up, so I feel like I kind of idolized that brand because of her and I actually have some pieces in my collection that my mom has gifted to me that are slash were hers. I'm not sure if they're like fully mine now if we're sharing them, but let's start there. So we're gonna start with the first designer handbag I've ever owned. This is one that my mom gave to me. I think she gave it to me when I moved away to California. So after I graduated college and it's a very nice backpack. Again, I don't know the name. This is like a super cool style. It's definitely true to my personal style. It's not super girly or posh or chic or anything like that. So this gets a lot of wear just because it kind of fits into that more casual laid back style, I would say. And Clayton actually can use this as well. So I feel like it's kind of unisex. It's adjustable and it's got the little like flap opening and then the little belt loop, which is a little bit inconvenient when you're trying to get in and out of a bag quickly. So I would say that's kind of a downside from this, but I love the vintage feel of this. I love that it came from my mom and I love that it's really casual and wearable. So this is a good one. Next, we're gonna do another Louis Vuitton that my mom gifted to me. So she actually got this on a trip when she was in her 20s, I believe, or 30s. And I think she said it cost around like $400 or something at the time. And of course, they have remade this bag since, and I think it retails for more like around 2000 or somewhere in there. So this has had quite the little journey in terms of its value, I would say. I love this. It is the, I actually do know the name of this, I think. It's the Super Mini Speedy or something around there. It's a Speedy bag. So it's just like not the most practical, but not the most impractical either because it, it kind of holds a lot in this little pouch, you know, it's not super thin, but it's just like the cutest little accessory and it's still not super, super girly just because of the kind of like neutral tones, I would say. And then my mom also gave me a strap with this that didn't come with it. I think she bought it separately that you can wear as like a crossbody and make it longer. So that's super cute. It's also pretty good for casual wear, I would say. I feel like none of my Louis Vuittons are super dressy because they're brown and I feel like black handbags are more dressy. So I appreciate the 
the more casual feel to them. All right, next I'll do this little guy, which is definitely up there with the most impractical bags I've ever purchased. This was also kind of an impulse purchase. I actually saw my friend Lizbeth trying this on at a store on social media, and then I was like, what is that thing? I need it, it's so cute, and it was not logical of me to get, but it is like the cutest little thing. It's just a mini, I think it's actually called a necklace. So you wear this like around your neck and it's just a little like mini hat box, I think, is the shape. And you could fit like your car keys in here, lip gloss, maybe like a tampon. So yeah, it's, it's kind of silly, but it's really cute. And when you're really into fashion, you sometimes purchase not the most functional things. All right, and then this is another Speedy. So I think this is like the 25, I wanna say. I'm really not good with the names, but I do know the Speedy shape. So this is in the kind of like cream and navy colorway, which I think is really pretty. It's a little more on the chic side, I would say. More so than the brown seems more casual to me. This is like a little airier and chicer in my opinion. I love this, it is vintage and it definitely just gives off like a nice vintage vibe. It is really big inside so you can fit a ton in here. So this is actually pretty functional. It's pretty easy to get in and out of too with the zipper on the top. And I like styling this with kind of casual things as well, but it's just a little bit, like I said, airier and lighter because of the colorway. So I don't get as much use out of it as I do the brown ones. Also, a lot of these bags are vintage pieces. So I will try to link some of my favorite places to get vintage finds for designer bags because I honestly prefer the vintage pieces over the new. It's a great way to give the piece like a second life. It's better for the planet and it's just kind of fun and they have more character. So I'll try to link some of those places for you guys. All right, next one. This is very similar to the necklace Louis Vuitton. This is like a mini hat box that is a super mini hat box shape, I believe. And this is a very hefty piece. So this is made out of wood, I want to say. I'm not like 100% certain, but I want to say it's crafted from like, uh, it's like a hand carved, hand manufactured wooden piece underneath all of this. So it's like really sturdy and it's got a really nice sturdy clasp. And then it doesn't open super big. It also has a little strap if you wanna make this crossbody. This is definitely the fanciest feel of all the Louis Vuittons that I have. It's the most dressed up and it's very unique. It does not get a ton of use out of like all of my handbags for sure. So looking back, this may not have been one of my best purchases, but it's cool. Next one is the multi pochette. I believe it's called. So I guess I do know some of the names. So this is one of my favorite bags. It is so freaking cool. It is super true to my personal style. I like that it has a lot of layers. It's a little bit edgy and it's super versatile. Another great thing about this bag as in the scheme of designer handbags, this one is not very expensive actually. It's pretty reasonably priced and it honestly has multiple handbags within one. So everything on here is like clippable. Everything is harder to do with long nails. Excuse me while I struggle. So everything clips on here, which is so nice, makes it very adjustable and customizable. This little piece on its own is a bag that I actually wear a lot. I love the super sparkly gold chain. It's a nice kind of just mini size, but it still does fit enough in there. And then there's this piece that you could obviously wear on its own. And then you can even unclip this little one and hook it to like a pant loop or something like that as a little coin purse on its own. So I feel like it's just a super versatile and unique bag that is very fun. It makes a statement, but it's really casual and wearable still. So this is by far one of my favorite purchases. I wish there was more strap colors. I think there's only a light pink and a dark green like this, but maybe they've come out with other strap colors that I'm unaware of. The green and the pink aren't just are just not the most wearable colors for me anyways in the way that I dress. I would love just like a kind of beige color one or maybe brown, dark brown, but this is still cute. So love, love, love. All right, next we are gonna move in to some Gucci bags. So I have three Gucci handbags and the first is this one. I think this is called the Marmont 
bucket bag, velvet bucket bag maybe. And this is actually the first designer bag that I purchased myself. I was on the way to get another bag and Clayton actually pointed this one out in the store and it was very unique and different. I had never seen it and we decided to go with that one. So kind of a random like off the hinge purchase. Sadly, I would say I literally like never wear this bag anymore. So I don't know, I might sell it. I feel <laughs> like attached to it a little bit because it was the first designer bag I purchased, but it just doesn't really suit my personal style that well. And at the time I didn't know anything about kind of what kind of bags I liked to wear that were designer or different functionalities of them or styling them. I was just literally going into it very blind. So maybe that's why I didn't make the best decision, but it's still a gorgeous handbag. Obviously these are all really nice quality and beautiful pieces, but I would admit that I don't ever really wear this now. And then I have this one. I think this is called the Super Mini Dionysus, maybe. And this is another bag that is not super functional because this one actually is very skinny. It's like an envelope style. You can fit like a little, like a little card wallet in there. You can fit your key depending on what kind of key you have, like a lip gloss, whatever, but it's not super functional. It is super cute though. I love small things and I just was really drawn to this. It looks really cute as a crossbody. You can also, it has the like hooks and clasps so you can also make it go around your waist and I love that it has the silver because it's kind of nice for some outfits when you're feeling a little bit edgier then going with the gold I think this is this is one of my only handbags with silver hardware so that's kind of nice and it's just a little cutie okay and then my last Gucci piece is a vintage I believe this is called the Jackie O bag this is a purchase inspired by my friend Lizbeth once again she is one of those people that knows a ton about the history of designers and fashion and things like that and I saw she had this bag and I was obsessed with it. So I followed her suit and I purchased this off Etsy. It is in quite worn condition. So it's got like a little bit of discoloration, I feel. And one side is tearing a little bit. There's a couple of tears in the leather. It's very well loved, I would say. But I still really enjoy wearing it. I enjoy styling it. I don't mind that it has a little more wear and tear than other bags. And it's just really cute and it definitely gives me the vintage feels. So she's cool. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys Prada, which is honestly a designer that I really, really love their pieces. I would love to invest in more Prada in the future. I get a ton of wear out of these pieces and they're just some of my favorites. So I will start with my favorite Prada bag. This is possibly my favorite designer bag in my entire collection and definitely one of the first that I purchased. I got this off of a resale site. I think I got it off of Depop actually, but I love their nylon bags. This one has a little bit of leather on the corners as well. And then it has the silver hardware. It is just super casual and wearable. It matches everything. It's really easy to get in and out of. It has a nice amount of space. It is like the perfect go-to everyday bag for me anyway. And then this is probably one of my other most worn bags in my collection, which is also from Prada. This is the Re-Edition 2000 style, I believe. I love the hardware on Prada. I think it's a really nice edgy touch, but they also have some very kind of like sweet and playful vibes to their products as well. I think the nylon material kind of helps with that, which is also super functional because it's really durable. Like I've worn this bag in the rain, like it got wet in the rain, which is probably the epitome of what you shouldn't be doing with designer handbags, but it happened and it was totally fine. So super durable, really cute, matches so many things. And this comes in tons of colors. They have really cute pastels and bright, vibrant colors and black. I'm not sure if it comes in white, but really good bag. Okay, and then this is another re-edition, so kind of like a, a throwback that Prada brought back. I think this is the 2005. I wanna say is what it's called. And I got this in black. This comes in a ton of colors as well now. It's in the nylon material again, and it's got really cute accessories to it. So love the chain. I've seen one of my friends, Jess Bailey. She is a fashion blogger as well. She puts, she bought like other chains that she puts on this that are even longer and chunkier and you can kind of just accessorize this in a multitude of ways, which is really fun. And then this, what did I do with this before? 
I think I wore the I think I wore the strap as a belt before because it's adjustable. I think with snow pants and then this was like a little pouch that you could put your ID in or whatever. So really versatile. I will admit I don't wear this purse as much as I thought I would. I was obsessed with it for a moment and then I don't end up wearing it that much. I think I prefer shoulder bags more is why. But it is a good one. And then this is the last Prada. This is the Kahir bag, I wanna say. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. But I actually purchased this in Amsterdam on a trip that I went on with Clayton, which is a really nice memory. I love a lot of these bags represent a milestone in my life or a memory, a place I've traveled, a special occasion. So that's a really nice aspect to this collection as well. But again, I will say that this was not one of my best purchases in terms of getting a ton of use and wear out of it. It is a rather like heavy and hefty bag and the style just doesn't suit my personal style as much as I was imagining, I guess. I prefer things that are more casual, grab and go and lighter. And I definitely like things more on the masculine side as well. So this kind of isn't any of those things. To me, it is pretty feminine with all of the hardware and it's pretty like hefty and you know, just heavy as I mentioned, but it is a absolutely gorgeous piece. It's beautifully crafted and super nice. I just honestly don't wear it much. So learn from my mistakes. All right, next I'm gonna do, do Dior, which I don't have a ton of. I have two bags, but I really love Dior as a designer. My name is obviously Delaney, so I love the D. My last name is Child, so the DC Christian Dior, it's flipped, but still it's my initials, so I kind of like it for that purpose. And I just really like the vibe and the feel of Dior, so would definitely probably consider getting more Dior bags in the future. I really love the tote bags that they have. There's like a mini version that's super cute. What else? There's like the Boston Dior bag, which is kind of like similar to the Speedy. Definitely a nice vintage feel, so we'll see what happens. But this Dior bag is a present that I bought myself for my birthday one year. I don't know the exact name of this. I think this is, these are called the saddle bag. This is a mini version and it's in the navy color colorway. It has the gold hardware and it's got the hanging hardware as well. And it's a really beautiful, well-made piece. I don't wear this like a ton, if I'm honest. I wish I wore it more, but again, maybe it's just a little too dressy for my everyday style, but I love the feel of it. I love that it's canvas and... I think this is pretty durable as well in terms of materials. And then this is a vintage Dior bag that I purchased. It is the saddle bag just like that. I think this is a little bit bigger and it doesn't have as much hardware, so it's just more plain. And I honestly get more use out of this one, probably because it is more plain and casual. And I love the kind of unusual shape of these bags. It's really just a little bit fun and funky. And this, I believe, I wanna say that this is called like the burgundy colorway. It looks brown, but I don't think it's actually called brown. Now we are gonna do Chanel, which I feel like for so many people is kind of the, head honcho of designer bags. I think Chanel's probably hold their value the best out of all of them. They're extremely classic. They go with so many things. I think Chanel will always be in style. So I get it. This Chanel bag was my first Chanel bag and I purchased it in Barcelona on a trip with Clayton. And that's just a really special memory to us. And it's nice having, you know, kind of a souvenir from that, I would say. So I think this is called the boy bag. It's just really simple and classic. And unfortunately, I don't wear this bag as much as I would like to. Again, I think it's a little like hefty and heavy for my taste. And you know, maybe it's just, maybe I just need to move to Paris and then I would be wearing this a lot more. That's kind of my idea, but I'm not sure. I mean, obviously at this point in time, I don't really go anywhere in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic. Don't really go anywhere, but it's a beautiful piece. It's classic, as I mentioned, and it will never go out of style. So I love wearing this on the shoulder or crossbody, and I actually do bring this whenever we take a trip over to Europe because I feel it's very fitting for that 
setting. And then this is the newest addition to my handbag collection actually. This was a present for my birthday and Christmas this year because they're pretty close to each other. And it is a vintage backpack. So it's super pretty piece. I like this because it's a little more casual and maybe a little more masculine. And I think I'll get more wear out of this than this one because of that reason. And it's got a nice chunky hefty chain so hopefully I don't avoid it too much because it's heavy but it's again obviously just a really beautiful piece and it's kind of a nice mix of something more casual and street style with the backpack shape but then obviously the design and the designer Chanel just kind of brings a more like classic and feminine aspect I would say so kind of like that mix there. Next, I'm gonna share Fendi with you guys. So Fendi is another brand that I really love. Similar to Dior and Louis Vuitton, with Fendi, I really love the logo mania. I just love the way that looks. I like busy things like that. So I think that's why I'm kind of drawn to them. And if you guys didn't know, logo mania was actually started in the black community by a man named Dapper Dan. So kind of cool history behind it. You guys should check it out and look into it because it's very interesting. So shout out to Dapper Dan and the black community for kind of creating this genre in the designer space that is still to this day so stylish and so cool and something I am personally so drawn to. So for starters, this piece is one of my favorites in my collection. This is the Fendi baguette, which I think is a very kind of iconic classic handbag. It's very like chic to me. It gives me 90s supermodels vibe and it's kind of masculine. Um, I like how it's more angular and there's not a ton of hardware. It's not heavy, it's canvas, it's super light. It does have the silver hardware, which kind of gives me that 90s supermodel vibe as well. And it's just a really fun piece. It's really easy for me to wear. It's very like cool girl and stylish without being over the top and still very wearable. So I highly recommend this and these are pretty easy to find on resale sites. They also come in different colorways too. Um, they have some pastels, they have like a more cream and beige toned one. I believe that's really cute. And I would just, I would get a lot of these because I like them. So this is another purchase that was inspired by a influencer, a fashion blogger, Lissy Roddy. She lives in the UK and she had this bag and inspired me to get it. So this is a fuzzy uh, Fendi piece, which I feel like Fendi is very known for having kind of like a lot of texture and fuzziness. And it's kind of a cozy brand. They have those little like, I don't even know what they are. They're like little puffs on a lot of things. And this one has the gold hardware, which matches a lot of the jewelry that I wear. And then it has this little strap. It is a pretty tiny bag, but I love this for fall and winter. It is like the most perfect vibe for those seasons. And then I switched out to the strap to this strap. I think it just came with a black one. And then the Lissy Roddy girl, she had this strap as well. So um, she just fully influenced this purchase. Okay, and then lastly, I have one Chloe bag. So I'm not super into Chloe bags necessarily. This one is one of my favorite bags actually. It is the Faye Mini, I wanna say is the name. And it's a backpack style, but it can also be worn with this strap kind of like over your wrist. So it's very versatile and it's just super cute. I kind of love the chain and it feels very busy and like accessorized, which is something that I really like in fashion in general. So super drawn to this. Unfortunately, they do not make this bag anymore, I don't think. And it's quite hard to find on resale sites, but if you can find it, I think it's called the Faye Mini Backpack and it's just a really cute, casual, easy, wearable bag again, which is kind of the theme here. So love this, love the color. It matches so many things and it's just kind of like the wild card in my collection. Okay, so that is it for this video. That is my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you would like to see other content kind of surrounding the collection, maybe how I style certain bags or anything like that, I would love to hear in the comments below. Also, if you guys have a designer bag that you absolutely love and you would highly recommend, I would love to hear that in the comments and we can all refer there and you guys can look at each other's suggest suggestions. <laughs> and if you have any designer bags that you also regret purchasing and would not recommend and why, I would love to hear that in the comments as well. I feel it's really helpful. And thank you as always for watching watching this video. I will see you next time.